Well, the day has come. I've got the last couple boxes out. There's one in the living room waiting to come out. I am starting to demolish this thing. It's time. There's nothing stopping me now from just ripping this apart. I'm going to take all the windows off and all the fixtures and doors off first. Work from the outside in right now. It's easier that way. And then I have to sort my metals. See this is steel, stainless steel, aluminum. I'll have to sort all that out later as I go along. But feels good. The day has come. Now I'm going to save all the windows and put them on Craigslist. I don't want to use them for me because I want to have a well insulated house. That's the whole reason I'm building my tiny home. I want to have a well insulated house. So these windows are not going in my new home. Try to work neat if I can, as much as I can. Pick up behind myself as I go so I don't have a mess down here later. I don't want the construction zone to be a dump site when I'm done. Sooner as I get these windows off and put them together in a group, I can photograph them, put them on Craigslist, see if I can get something, some extra cash, and maybe I can use that to buy parts for my home. Now this is going to take some time to do this right because I want to save the windows. Otherwise, I just smash it up. The other thing is I don't want to make a mess as I go, as I said. a lot of screws in this thing. Charged up all my batteries today, so I'm ready to roll. Just keep them going. That is a lot of screws. They did not want this coming apart on you. By the way, my tiny home is going to be made of screws as well for durability. Oh, it's 
It's so hot, I'm sweating in the shade. Wow. Now I had that silicone in really well, so I don't know how easy this is going to go. First thing I do when I get a new camper is I silicone seal everything. screwdriver for that well let's see if that might loosen up a little I might need a screwdriver a big handle screwdriver be right back see if I can get that window out I'm gonna record and let you see what happens they use on these is terribly sticky. The windows are going to be the worst I think for me to pull out. Oh maybe not. Too bad. Sticky seal down under there has to be loosened up all the way around. I don't know how safe this is going to go, one person. Once it goes, it's going to go. I fear. I don't know how heavy it's going to be. There's one big hole in the camper. Oh. I got it. Oh, but the window screens on the inside bolted in. Fun stuff. Oh boy. That's one big piece. Well, I guess it's part of the window. I'll have to do that later as I go. I'm going to keep working around here and get these front windows off and work my way around. I pulled all the screws out from around the door. All the ones, I had to actually pull them out with a pry bar because they were stripped. The framing behind this thing is shot, absolutely destroyed. You'll see that later, pretty soon I guess. Look at this wall just flops.
think the door frame, which I had put together with new wood, was the only thing holding the side of this camper together back here. There's no wood behind it other than that. the door oh that thing was a mess now all the wood in there I had put in I'll show you that later when I get that far oh look at this this thing was no good Look at this. That was wood. Look at that. It's just nothing left. That's what the frame of this looks like here. Look at that frame. Nothing. I put all these in. I put all the new framing around here in. That was original. But what a mess. You'll get to see more as I go. I'll get to see more as I go. This thing was in sorry shape. There's another window. Quite a hole in there. That's rotted. There's the lamp I wanted to keep. Well, I got the picture window and the big door up on this side, and then a couple of uh, fixtures, outdoor fixtures, and this side will be stripped. It's gonna go fast. Gutting this thing is gonna go really fast. Well, I have to go in and take a break and rehydrate because I'm really sweating, so it's uh, it's hot out. It's really hot today. All right, this is going to surprise you, some of you. Look at this wall. Now, this is how I got this camper. This whole wall was flapping in the breeze when I got this camper, and I literally taped it with aluminum tape around two years ago. And that's what's been holding this thing together. This whole wall is on there with aluminum tape. I lived in this. Can you believe that? This was my home. I'm gonna get this window off. Well, the demolition job is going pretty well. It goes really quick. I've got this side almost all gutted. I just got that bottom piece, but the sun is too hot right now. Get this outside door. And then up there, I have to get on the ladder and get the awning mounts off and my solar lamp. But it's coming along well because this thing is so rotted, it just rips apart really easily. It's in bad shape. Look at the wood that just fell on the ground. That was the framing of that wall. That's what it looks like inside. So it's really bad shape. Really bad stuff. Won't be much to burn or dispose of. It's just dust. Actually, that's good for my compost for my garden. I don't know if to put chemicals in that or not, so I probably won't use it for that. I am salvaging some decent stuff. There's a screen door with the outdoor, the outer door, and there's another screen door with its outer door. 
And there's the big window that looked out over the sofa. That was a beautiful view when I got here the first time. There's two more windows, complete. That glass from that one is there. So, not bad. There's a lot of materials coming out of this that I can sell or reuse. So, let's see what I get once I'm done. It is 92 outside and 75 at the ceiling inside the RV at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I have my air conditioner on and that is why it is so much nicer in here. Now, it's 75 at the ceiling, it is 72 in the bedroom around waist level. So very comfortable, it actually feels cold in here right now. I left up my insulating blankets on almost all of the windows. There, there's Baby Cat's favorite place to sleep right now. In the, actually it was. She's not up there. And when it's when it's colder out, she sleeps there because it's up by the ceiling more. Um, left all this stuff up, insulating the windows. Now I do open them a little bit to let daytime light in in summer, but this allows me to have the air conditioner running and insul and keep the cool in as much as possible with an inch and a half thick white foam insulation in the walls. Now I have the generator running outside. I don't know if you can hear it. Reason is that the sun has cleared the meadow and it's no longer shining on my solar panels and I don't have enough power in my battery bank to run my air conditioner when the sun is not shining. But when the sun shines, I've got power to spare. So that's good. I just wanted to show you that so you see it with your own eyes that I do have AC working in here. I think I showed you this previously when I was using it from pure sun. Right now I'm in, in the afternoon hot hours working on the computer and doing some paperwork.